So the king says to Joan, why aren't the oysters come to me? Why don't they come to me? I'm the king, not you. And Joan says, they do come to you, but you don't hear. You don't hear them. You have not sat in the field in the evening listening for them. When the bell rings, you cross yourself and have done with it. But if you prayed from your heart and listened to the thrilling of the bells after they stop ringing, you would hear the voices as well as I do. And so I, I do get that it's not about what anybody else will teach me. And it's not about what I'm going to teach you either. Because if I stayed around, you'd never learn. Because you'd be looking to me. So when it comes to addictions or any other problem we're, we're facing, it doesn't do to look for the solutions on the outside. That's a clue. It doesn't look to look for the solution from the outside. There are no solutions from the outside. There are no solutions from the outside. Not for a moment do we believe that the healing power resides in us all. Not for a moment do we have any idea how to encourage, invigorate, and empower that healing capacity that we all have. There needs to be some courage, a willingness to look at how it actually is. Not how you'd like it to be, but how it actually is. And there has to be awareness, again, what Jesus says, that in order to heal, you have to bring, in, bring outside of yourself what is inside yourself. What you will bring outside yourself will heal you. And finally, you have to disidentify from the experience. Now, when somebody stands up at an AA meeting, and I am very much in favor of the 12 steps, so this is not a, game, not a knock on the 12 steps, but when somebody says, I'm so-and-so and I'm an alcoholic, something in me doesn't quite act like language. Because the language identifies the person with the uh, experience. It says, I am that experience. Well, you're not that experience. Addiction is not a person. Addiction is not who you are. When you say, I'm an addict, well, nobody is an addict. That's not who you are. Even when people say, and I had to, when James said it in his introduction, when he said that somebody's a survivor, well, as long as we don't take those categories as categorical, as long as we don't take those categories as defining anybody, because nobody is a survivor. That doesn't define who they are. Because when you say I'm a survivor, you, you're simply defining yourself in terms of the past. In the present, you're not a survivor. You are whoever you are in the present. The fact that you survived something doesn't make you into a survivor. So those statements are both true and not true. But we have to disidentify. We have to let the identification with the experience go so that if you understand that addiction is not uh, who anybody is, it's just an experience. And who you are is never an experience. Even if you had the experience for, even if you're 49 years old and you had the experience for 40 years, that still does not mean that you are that experience. So we have to let go of that identification. Thank you.